This is problem 30 from chapter 21. A point charge is placed at each corner of a square with side length A. The charges will all have the same magnitude. Two of the charges are positive and two are negative. The top two are positive, the top two are negative. I've labeled them 1, 2, 3, and 4 just to keep them straight. The, the question is, what is the direction of the net electric field at the center of the square due to the four charges, and what is the magnitude in terms of Q and A? So let's figure out what we know about electric fields, specifically electric fields that are asking about the electric field at a point a distance away from the charge. Well, that equation is equal to K of the charge that is making the electric field over the distance from the charge to where we're measuring it. Okay, so let's think about this. We already know Q. It said in the problem that each of these charges has the same magnitude, so we're just going to call that Q. What about R? What can we say about R? Well, if we just look at one of the charges, let's say Q1. The point that we're looking at here is here in the center. So this is our R. We know that the side of this is A and the side length of this is A. How are we going to find R? Well, we can make a triangle. Here is it along the x and here is along the y. In order to figure out what R is, we need to know what this length is and what this length is. This is easy since the point is in the very center of the square. That means that this length is half of this length, which is a over 2. That also means that this length is half of this entire length, which means this length is also a over 2. By Pythagorean theorem, we can say r squared equals a over 2 squared plus a over 2 squared. And we can keep it in this form since we're going to be dealing with an r squared anyway in the equation. All right, so that's for q1. What about q2 or q3 or q4? Well, if we were to look at another one, let's say it's q4. and we're looking for R, we would still be looking for a triangle and since the point is in the center, this length is half of this length and this length is half of this length. So again, we would get the same equation for a different point. That means we can go ahead and assume that for each point at the corners of the square, the R value is going to be the same. So now we figured out that the Q value is the same at each point and the R value is the same at each point. We know that K is constant so it will be the same at each point. So now we deduce that the electric field, the magnitude of the electric field is going to be the same at each point. This equation here is the equation for the magnitude. If we want to know the vector E in terms of labeling the magnitude and direction, we need to make sure that we're also taking into consideration the direction. All right. Now we have an equation. We have the R. We know that the electric field the magnitude is going to be the same at each point. Let's now focus on the first question. What is the direction of the net electric field due to these points? Well, if we look at Q1, we know it's positive. We know that an electric field produced by a positive point charge points away from the charge. 
Okay, now if we look at Q2, it's also positive, so it's going to be pointing away from the charge. If we look at Q3, this one's negative. A field produced by a negative charge is going to point towards the charge. This is Q3. And then for Q4, it's also negative, and it's going to point towards the charge. All right. Now, in terms of magnitude and direction, we can clearly see that E1 is going to be equal to E4. And also in terms of magnitude and direction, E2 is equal to E3. All right. So if we were to show, or if we were now to add up all of these vectors <coughs> so that we can find the net electric field, we're now going to have to break it up to components in order to do that. So we can take either E1 or E4 and break it up into components. And then we can take either E2 or E3 and break it up into components. All right, now we know that, the, again, the magnitude of, of E1 and E4 is equal to the magnitude of E2 or E3. Therefore, when we break it up into EX and EY, and we're dealing with directions now, since this magnitude is equal to this magnitude, but they're pointing in opposite directions, they cancel out. All right, that means all we have to deal with are the y um, components. Okay, so we know that E1y is going to be equal to E4y, which is going to equal, I'm going to put negative because it's going in the negative direction, k of q over r squared. Now dealing with the directionality in this r hat, we need to figure out how to label ey in terms of a theta. Let me draw this bigger. We need to figure out how to label EY in terms of a theta. Well, this is EX and this is EY. Using our SOHCAHTOA rules, we know this value, which is this. We know this value because it's a 45 degree angle. This is 90, as we said, this is 90. So these two values are making an isosceles triangle because this length is the same as this length. So this angle and this angle must be 45 degrees. So in order to find this and knowing this and this, we are going to go ahead and put as our r hat cosine of 45. We also know that E2 equals E2y equals E3y, which again will equal this. 
when we take the angle theta to be this. All right, so we have our components broken up. So that means the total is going to equal total e hat is going to equal 4 times negative k of q over r squared, which Cosine 45, if you do that, it comes out to square root of 2 over 2. All right. Now let's go ahead and get it in terms of Q and A. Let's go back up to this equation. We can go ahead and write this as 2 times A squared over 2. Putting this in, putting it into the equation, we can substitute this for 2a squared over 2. We can even go back up here and say it's equal to a squared, oh, I put this square in the wrong place, a squared over 2a squared over 4, but then we can cancel out the 2s. So that means we can erase this and put an a squared over 2. This is going to equal negative 4k q. We can bring this 2 to the top. Times 2. But then it will cancel with this square root of 2 divided by a squared. And that's our final answer. Our final answer is our total electric field is in the y direction, negative y direction, and it equals negative 4kq square root of 2 divided by a squared.